Okay, back one more time. <clears throat> um, well, I've exhausted myself twice today on this OBS studio trying to make it quit crashing and start streaming. They'll record just fine. Um, got all my scene collections in there. I'm using number two. I think Untitled 2 is, well, it might not be exactly the same, but they're very close. And then this is the one that uh, has Cameron 2 as audio, the one I've got it on right now. And I don't know if you can switch it while recording without having trouble. Well, I was importing and then deleting and switching. I think you can switch. I switched several times without even trouble, but it was one I was – actually, I, I and imported and did all kinds of things. I think it's when I uh, – Imported, immediately deleted, and then imported it again because I changed, kept changing my mind. That one right there. Uh, so, um, you know, there's no need to do all that while uh, during a video anyway, unless you're, uh, I mean, all that importing and all that stuff. <clears throat> unless you f forgot you needed something and you didn't want to stop your stream or, or you're trying to show other people, you know, what you're doing and what, maybe how... Uh, your problem or how you're trying to fix it or how you figured out how to fix it, which I haven't figured out how to fix it yet. Anyway, that's why I was doing it. Um, so, yeah, there's my stream page. I had it up. Well, I had it up to get my uh, name key, uh, stream name key, to put it in there because when I made the new profile, which I can't show, but I've showed it over and over when I made the new profile, then it didn't have any of that in there. And it doesn't matter, though, I can use it. I've got the, an old one and the new one in there. Either, neither one of them will stream. They'll both record. And uh, I still have, yeah, audio from Cam 2. As far as I'm talking, when I say that, I'm talking about coming from the, the lapel mic plugged into the camera. That's what's in every scene there. That will work just fine, except for I have decided I want to go ahead and start using Cam 1 for that audio and not use cam to um but it is yeah it's all labeled you know i had been renaming and th i renamed them trying to thinking that that might fix it, and it but it didn't uh it acts exactly the same no matter what i've done to it so i don't think even though when you well when you manually go to put one in it won't let you give it the same name so it might be better still to have uh um as far as recording, it doesn't matter because I've been doing it for all week, uh, several days, all week I think here, and uh, and I started to switch to one of those other ones, but I'm not. It might, it might, it might actually crash the recording, so I'm not going to do that or lock it up the app or whatever. But I don't know. I did so many changes, I'd have to look through them. I'm not sure if I have one that's uh, after I renamed all of Cam to. What did I rename? Oh, I didn't rename them all. I never. I got started, but I didn't finish because it didn't end up helping. <coughs> but I, <coughs> yeah, I don't think I. Re oh yeah, I went. Ended up just starting with Cam ones and then renaming them, and then I was deleting all the Cam. I ended up deleting all the Cam two entries, but I just put it back like that because that's fully uh, working. I can. Uh, I don't have the lapel mic on. Uh, plugged in or turned on. I don't have camera two on or the lapel mic plugged into anything right now, but I can still mute and unmute that. I can still mute and unmute. Uh, that's what, uh, that's when I thought, well, that's ready to go, you know? So when I, tomorrow, if I, or, uh, next time I open the next time I want to record something, if I won't have to go through, uh, all that stuff to folder all, you know, setting up just if I need to hurry up and do something. So, um, but I can only still just make a video. I saw something in the settings. Let's see. Well, I'll just go through what I've done so far. Um, it's the last one uh, before I, you know, last one's already, I believe I already showed this one but last time it crashed. But uh, I looked in there. Um, this is an advanced. Oh, when you switch from simple to advanced mode it goes back to the whatever the defaults were or whatever the last thing you had in there was which was the defaults in this new profile so it was at bitrate 2500 cbr does seem to be this best one for me uh after all uh after watching the video uh, the one the one video that i thought was pretty good and i changed it to 4000 because youtube wants uh says it take accept anything from 3000 to 6000 and so i figured i'll get in the middle 
Uh, or well, I wanted to give myself some headroom in case the bit rate uh, dropped off some, but actually CBR is going to make it stay the same from what I understand. Constant bit rate, that's what that stands for. So, but I'm going to leave it there because I think my, I don't see any reason why my machine couldn't handle that and my, and my internet connection. That's actually would be more, well, you, first your machine has to handle it, but then your internet connection has to handle it. But I have 300 down and 10 gigabit, gigabit up. So it, I don't think that would be a problem. If it is, I can, that is, um, about almost double. See, I was doing 2,500. So now I'm doing, you know, uh, Double that would be five five thousand, uh, whatever. I, I'm too tired to do that. That's simple, but I'm too tired to do that. Anyway, four thousand uh, four thousand is giving me a thousand over the minimum, back the absolute minimum that YouTube says it accepts now. I don't remember what it was in the past, but that's what it said today when I went on the page. And so, where H two sixty four is my only choice for the encoder because I couldn't my I I don't have uh, even if my machine could do hardware encoding using the GPU instead of the CPU, then uh, I would, I've only got 256 megabyte of onboard video chip, you know, memory. So um, yeah, that's the only way I can do it, H.264. Uh, and that's the only thing that's selectable anyway. There's nothing else showing up. The, I saw something about installing uh someone asked on the video the guy was he was using hardware encoding a particular different one and someone said well how do you get it to do that it doesn't show up in my machine that's what i was thinking and he said well you can install it from from uh the source code or you can use a different linux distro they were using ubuntu and he was using arch linux or something and he said get one that defaults to doing that and i guess fedora probably doesn't either anyway i'm i don't know really because uh, I, it uh, probably wouldn't offer hardware encoding uh, to some, well, such an abysmal hardware, you know, is what I got there. Uh, my, my processor's pretty good. I mean, it's all right. It's, uh, like I said earlier before, it's mid-range, I guess, nowadays. It's a quad-core with... <coughs> when you go to shop for a machine, though, that's the main thing they push. That's what they sell. And usually, this is a quad-core i5, Intel i5 with 2.5 gigahertz. We usually don't even see 2.5 gigahertz. If you see a machine with a good price, you better pay attention to what the specs are because it may be really low. What well, you would be surprised. That's why um, the guy in the video he, he didn't ever give his specs, and I wish he would because he kept saying, "Oh, his it's not very good." Well, what he considers he's a gamer, so what he considers not very good might be more than what I've got, you know. But uh, Anyway, um, and I made sure I set the, uh, I, le I left the recording here at this time on FLV, um, and I made sure I set the, you know, my destination um, <clears throat> folders, so I won't go with my home. And then I looked, and it does have an option there. This is in the advanced now. I'm in the advanced output mode now. I changed that. I forgot to mention that. At some point, I changed that. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not going to go back. You can choose either the default was use stream encoder or you can choose X264. Well, that <laughs> the stream encoder is is X264, so I just left it like that on the default. And uh, let's see. Now, how did I get that? <coughs> Somewhere I clicked on an, another thing and uh, I was able to get the extra settings down here. That's in the audio section. I'm trying to see where I might have done that. I'm not sure how I, I clicked on another thing, you know, more advanced tab or something. I'm going back and forth to try to figure it out. But anyway, when I, or maybe it's just because I selected X, X264. Oh, yeah. Now I'm getting it. Use a uh, stream encoder or use X264. I selected X264. Now you've got these extra controls. <coughs> and so, um, uh, I decided to, which is the way I had it before uh, with the other profile. And it was all working until the other, you know, a couple weeks ago. Uh, and it's back to 2,500 bit rate and this constant bit rate CBR. And so then I put it back on use stream encoder because uh, it's all going to be, I'm using the same anyway on both of them. So 
it's simpler. And then it was defaulted to 160 uh, kilobits on the audio, so I brought it back to 128 because that's what YouTube says it supports. I think what happened actually is this was probably, rec I think this was recording in uh, 160 and streaming the 100, probably the 128 like YouTube wants. But I went ahead and set it to that because I don't think you'll be able to hear. I may be sorry. I may be, may not be. You may be able to hear a difference, you know, in the audio. We'll, we'll see. Um, if I notice anything, I'll put it back like it all. I'll, I have to go through and just really just kind of put it back. I, I'll never remember all these details. I'll just put it back to what I think's best. And then if it streams, if it keeps streaming, then good. And if it doesn't overdo my CPU, you know, then good. And I stuck it on a MP4. And uh, then you get that warning, and I remember that's one reason. Another reason why I don't want to use MP4. It says uh, if you save recording, this is in the recording section, not the streaming section. If you uh, save anything MP4, then uh, will be unrecoverable if they can't finalize the file. Now I've run into this before. You know, if you have a BSOD or power loss and stuff like that, and if you want to record. Uh, multiple audio tracks, consider using MKV and remux the recording or re-encode it into MP4 after after it is finished. The file remix, uh, file remux recordings. Oh, you can do that from in here? I didn't know that. This is not the program. I'll have to look at that. I did not realize that. I'm, I'm, I think I saw that. I've seen it before. I've seen this message. I don't know how many times. And I forgot. I keep forgetting about it. So, File, Remux, Recordings. We'll go there in a minute. Okay, so I went ahead and put it back to... Uh, I, I put it on MKV and uh, went ahead and saved it. Let's keep going through everything. I think I went and rechecked everything. So our streaming is X264, CBR 4000 uh, kilobits, and that's... The recording is the same. And... Uh, so then, yeah, I went and exited the program to make sure I saved my settings. Start streaming. Crash. So I got back in there and uh, made sure I, you know, I hadn't lost any of my settings. Went through and looked it all over again. And then I looked through the, uh, the, the crash again. And then the two things that I see, you know, it says killed by SIG... Killed by SIG, A B oh SIG A B R T, huh? Well, A B R T is automatic bug reporting, so I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But crash function lib calloc. Now that's an app. There's a lot of lib, a lot of libs. <laughs> There's a thousands of them. Uh, that their dependencies. So uh, <clears throat> little applications, you know, that help helper applications, I guess you could say. So I need to look that up. I don't, I think maybe I did, I don't know if I ever did, but anyway, I'm too tired to do it tonight. So that's something to look at. And then I went back and looked at those, it says, uh, no matching signal for on advanced audio properties clicked. And over several times, it's, you know, about that. And what's that? I think it's, I think if you went over there I, earlier, I did, I think it says on advanced audio. So... That, I can't, it's a clue to me. This is Varlog messages. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is Varlog messages. I assumed it had to do with OBS because it's in this OBS crash report. Yeah, I think it is. But uh, then I, I'll, I'll just went back up there to, you know, make sure I got a screenshot of that. And I noticed that. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> that's actually how I have it right now. <clears throat> uh, it was on standard. I think standard. Actually, I think standard in this Fedora in Linux and Fedora 28 Linux is going to be FFmpeg. I don't think there's anything else for it to be used. But anyway, I put it on FFmpeg. And uh, just to make sure that's what I was using because I know that's just the Linux standard. That's it, it runs in Windows too now. It was so good that they they ported it over to Windows too. <clears throat> so uh, <coughs> it's really a standard now. 
it's kind of the MP3 of Linux. <laughs> Only it's not a codec, it's an encoder, so or a muxer. So, um, and seeing it defaulted back, and when I did that, it defaulted back to the 2500 uh, video bit rate and the audio bit rate 160. Uh, I'm recording, that's, uh, well, the video bit rate being higher would be better quality video, and it's kind of funny to have higher, really high quality. That's pretty high quality audio, uh, for just talking anyway. Probably just, I guess, average for music, but pretty good for talking. And then uh, the bit rate, that's not so great. You know, that's kind of lower, on the lower end, I think. And uh, so anyway, I went and set the folder, set the bit rate, changed the audio deck down, though, because that's what YouTube says it wants. And... Uh, Went through and checked things again. Exit. Looked over the uh, crash report. Closed it up. And then I hit start streaming again, and it crashed again. I just thought, well, well one more try, you know. So I went. Um, oh, and I noticed something. In the FFmpeg. This is on recording section, not streaming, but it's in the FFmpeg output type. You can now put the file, which is what I've been doing. Or output to a URL. So then I thought, hmm, well, there is a URL in here. You know, it tells you, oh, it's, I'm in the screenshot. Well, I can get out of there. Let's see. I should have done that a while ago because I done forgot what I was going to show in a minute. Um, there's the URL that you could use to go to YouTube. <clears throat> and I thought, well, maybe I'll try that. But then I thought, no, wait, I won't be saving a video then at all. <laughs> uh, if it did work, you know. Uh, because this is an either-or situation here. Uh, you're either going to save to a local file or you could save it. And what you'd really be doing is sending it to your, well, you could send it to your own web server if you had one or somewhere but out on the Internet, but you'd most likely be sending it to another machine on your local network, uh, you know. <clears throat> but uh, but that's sec this is recording. This is not, you know, intended to be for streaming. It's for recording, so... That's why you, I say you would be, if you weren't doing it on your local machine, then you might do it. I've done that in the years past when I didn't have enough space on the machine I was working on, but I had some other machine, that old machine with a hard drive that didn't have much on it, and I'd go save audio files to it is what I was doing because it had space on it. <clears throat> and I would just, uh, I was streaming VLC streams over to that uh, machine, you know. And saving them there. <clears throat> but anyway, um, 128, in the advanced mode, you have to set them all, every track, separately. But I'm actually only using, um, it's kind of, this is a track, but I believe this is a stereo track. Even it's, You don't do, and the reason, okay, track one, two, three, four, five, all the way to six. Two, four, six, eight, no. I was reading something about it. You can do up to eight tracks, separate tracks, but that's six there. In, in OBS, but uh, I don't know where it is in here. Maybe I'll see it in a minute, but um, you know, YouTube gets to take stereo, uh, but those are two separate tra tracks, I believe, uh, not right and left audio, you know, like in stereo. <clears throat> so, and the reason I say that is because here it is right here. Audio track one is selected. Now you can't select, if you select two, I did it. If you select two, then you're on two. And so it's, uh, and it can be used in many, there's very, very different ways I read about that during all my research today. Uh, you can use these separate tracks for 5.1 or 7.1 audio, uh, you know, surround sound, or you can use them for different languages. You can put a, Mono track on uh, of of a different language on each one, and then and it was telling it's real complicated, but it's telling you how you could ha get streaming streaming services to be able to take advantage of that and be people to be able to select their language. <clears throat> that would be hard, and of course I know only one language, so I have no use for that. But uh, but I could I could have a use for like uh, if I was recording songs and music like I used to do. Uh, once in a while, I do fiddle around with remixing stuff and stuff. I could have uh, vocals on one and, you know, a guitar on the other and a bass. I don't play all those instruments, but let's just say that's what you could do, guitar, bass, you know, 
keyboard if you did keyboard and then you, then you'd only have well with that many tracks you'd have those two left for drums and wouldn't be enough you'd actually need all six for drums really but anyway <coughs> um there uh, well there's i don't know well background sounds you could do things like that you know but uh and then that would be recorded into your recording but when you stream it it would all be mixed down to to you know stereo for you to automatically by OBS so but you could record that way and so then when you wanted to go back and edit that video or uh, or edit the I think you'd probably edit that audio in a DAW uh, you know audio editing program too so uh, and a multi-track audio editing program that's what I was thinking uh, how, wow that'd be cool you know <clears throat> it's a little a lot more than I want to get into right now but at some point I might I would say that stuff but what, maybe you never know okay so I uh, I had that turned off and for streaming service encoder settings because I thought maybe it could help but it didn't so I turned it back on because I think that will make it automatically mix it down to whatever streaming service you choose to make it work right I think that's how come perhaps well, but that mixes it in four streaming well okay so YouTube maybe I had it maybe I was recording in 2500 bit rate but it was bringing it up for YouTube even and that's why it worked and with even though I didn't have the settings exactly right for YouTube that could be the thing I don't know and then again maybe YouTube will really take less and just doesn't say that on the page uh, so and that's the end of all my screenshots <clears throat> but uh, all of it as far as streaming has all been for naught uh, I figured out a lot of things you know figured out how to how this all works more than I ever knew about it um, figure out how to make those files kind of how that was working by looking inside of those files and uh, well, it was simple to just rename them. You know, they all would show up with the same name, and then they would add a two. You know, it would have been a one, two, three, like that on the end. Well, it was two, two, and then I said it'd be two, three, or whatever. I don't know. But uh, anyway, you can just rename them once you import them. <clears throat> Even though they're named, you know, like they show up there. Well, that's just. Even though they're named the way they show up here in my file, as the file, inside of the file, it was its name inside the file is what you see here not the file name so and you could go in with the, the smart thing uh, the go, uh, a good thing to do would be to get in there to those files and just edit that one little section where it said untitled 2 and change it to whatever the file name is you know uh, but if you I'm sure that now if I exported those it would that would be another way to do it export them with the names they have now and then the, uh, give them that file name and then you'd be good uh, <clears throat> but anyway I can switch between these different profiles I think only maybe this one those two I think are the same really but this one and maybe that one or that one might be useful to me but uh, <clears throat> right now and then the profiles I do have two I have one of the uh, one of the old the oldest one I have and the newest one and actually I think that there may be well I'm sure there's some small variations well I just changed it now when you after you import a profile and then you change um, all these settings you know it no it no longer the same as it was so it's whatever you have now so now I actually could export it uh, probably you know I might I might ought to do that export it the way it is now because I changed all these settings uh, and I guess that's why I started putting them in different it still has me turn way around uh, because I can't understand one thing about it I put them like these I put in a second folder so that's my new one okay now this one there's the folder primary OBS this one primary see that's what you get when you export it and I swear I couldn't well I said I couldn't see any differences but that's because I was looking for differences in the scenes I didn't understand I think the differences were only in the settings now these don't have a second folder but I uh, 
I started giving them different names because I started realizing, well, they all have that name, you know, and it's, I need to do something to differentiate them. So, and then rather than make them really, really long by putting the dates on there, I just, I knew that as long as I didn't change them, the dates would stay the same, you know, by the, the modified date there. So, but anyway, there's, I guess there's got to be some differences. Uh, and now I guess it doesn't matter. I could import, I could get rid of the, uh, what I imported was that one. Thinking maybe it would work because I don't think I had ever tried it. But I've tried several, I haven't tried all of these, but um, I guess. Well, here, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I lost. I lost a whole bunch of my uh, scene settings because I didn't export them because I didn't realize I needed to do that. I had just been over all this time here from 7 2018 all the way till this, you know, the last few weeks here. Seven, there we go, 1 18 19. That was the most recent one. Uh, I was just exporting these profiles, I wasn't exporting the scenes. Uh, I didn't know they had to be done separately, I thought it was all together. And so all the different scene changes I made, I lost. You know, I don't have a, a backup of them. Like, uh, for instance, I, when I had Cam 3 as my audio, I don't have a backup of that, but that's okay. I mean, it's not a big deal, but uh, real big deal anyway. <clears throat> Except for that was when it was working, and however I had that all set up, it was working. But I keep thinking that. I keep thinking it's got something to do with the settings, but the more I work on this, the more I, and now that I have a brand new profile started from scratch, um, with the profile and, uh, and I did try, you know, starting a stream with these other ones that don't have, uh, like these, uh, Cam 2 Audio was in every one of these, and I kept thinking that maybe that's what was crashing it. I just remembered that. But I will put, let me see if I can switch it, messing things up. Um, I think it's just fine, yeah. I think it was just because I was editing real fast. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I have Cam 1 Audio. Cam 1, yeah, this is the one I was working on to change it to Cam 1. This one has Cam 1. Okay, that's what I'm going to go to. So um, I guess I could try that and see now that I've done all this changing. Yeah, now some of the, the, the these are the only ones I'm even going to bother. Oh, that's USB. Yeah, Cam One, Cam. Oh, I think did I do it in every one of them? No, I didn't. Okay, yeah. So. Uh, uh, I'm trying to just stick to the ones that have a desktop view so you can see what I'm talking about. But I have Cam 1 Audio uh, 2, Cam 1, and Desktop. Cam 1 Audio 2, Cam 2, and Desktop. <clears throat> and, of course, that means the lapel mic on Camera 1, which is not hooked up. I haven't even hooked it up that way yet, but I will. Uh, that's my goal, to, to change it to that. And, see, I gave them all different names instead of the way it is of, with the... The one that Cam 2 audio, it just said Cam 2 audio in every one of them, and I thought that that might, I kept thinking that was the problem, but that didn't help. When I did all this work all day long today, it never helped. Then I thought, well, maybe the profile's corrupted, so. Okay, so, but this is, has no conflicts in it, you know, no, 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 no uh, same name in every profile. So, yeah, that's one thing I don't know for sure if I've tried. Since I got my new profile made, did I ever try it? you know, and say this, this, uh, scene collection that doesn't have any, uh, cam two, cam two, cam two in it. So I'm going to stop now and, uh, <clears throat> try that. Start streaming one more time. All right. I think I'll do a music out this time. Mm -hmm. 